I'm meeting Matt and his aggressive dog, MJ, for the first time. Hey, Matt, let's meet MJ. I'm wearing my bite suit to protect me while I investigate MJ's aggression. MJ. Hey, come here. Let it go. MJ didn't even bite me. He jumped up, he circled me, but there was no biting. That tells me a lot about who he is. He's scared, bro. He's scared? Very scared. <laughs> Breathing a lot, panting. I confront an aggressive dog so they show me who they really are. MJ's backing up, he's shaking and trying to hide. These are all clear signs that his aggression stems from fear. I know he's a big baby inside. I guess I could have put that together, but I would never in a million years would have thought because he's scared of everyone he's lunging at. Yeah. No one else would ever sit calmly like you are right now. My next observation was key for me to plan a training strategy. As soon as I separated MJ from Matt, he began to calm down, so much so that I could actually pet him. This tells me that a big part of MJ's problem is actually Matt. Come sit with me. Call him over. MJ, come here. Come here. No, come here. Hey, hey, come here. He's peeing. He's just afraid. As soon as Matt sat down, MJ reverted back to his fearful behavior. He even urinated. MJ. In order to begin training MJ, he must be calm and receptive. So I need to separate him from Matt and bring him back to the Checkmate training warehouse for a few days. I think we should take him for a while. My team's going to help out. We'll take they him all have, Do they all have suits on like you do? We, we, we don't really need it. All right. You don't think? No. If we have some people and they can hold and stand their ground and we'll give them some rules. Then, once I made progress at MJ, I can bring Matt in and start working with him on being a strong leader that MJ needs. Come here, MJ. Come on, bub. All right. All right. See you soon. All right. Take care of my boy. I'll treat him like he's mine. All right, man. I appreciate it. I really hope Steve-O can help me with MJ because it's just gotten past what I know how to do. The stakes are high, man. When you have a 70-pound dog, it's no joke. You got to have control of him. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Another day, another dog.